Hi there, I'm Charlie with 45 North and today we're here to talk about tubeless ready setup. What does tubeless ready mean? Well, first of all, let's start with the rim. The rim has a few distinct features that make it tubeless ready. Starting with the center channel of the rim, it's deeper to allow the tire to be installed and removed more easily. There's also a higher bead seat shelf, which makes a better contact with the tire, locking that bead to the edge of the rim. You have a tubeless ready rim strip, which seals off the holes in the rim and sometimes all the way up onto that bead shelf for an airtight seal. And then lastly, you have the tubeless ready valve stem, which creates another airtight seal while allowing you to inflate and deflate the tire. Things you might need during this process. Tire lever, sealant injection tool, sealant. If your wheel has not already been set up to be tubeless, you will also need a tubeless ready valve stem and tubeless ready tape. The first steps we have to set your tire up is grab the wheel and you wanna orient it in the same rotation direction as the tire. So we have that here. I'm gonna put the wheel inside the tire completely, like that. We're gonna start by hooking the, the first side of the tire around that rim wall. We're gonna slowly edge this tire on around. A lot of rims and tires can be a little bit challenging. You wanna make sure that you keep kind of popping back in there and resetting that tire into the valley that we talked about to allow it to go on easy without a tire lever. You wanna to flip to the second side of the wheel. We're gonna start opposite of the valve stem here so that we have the most room possible to get sealant in after. I'm gonna do two thirds to three quarter of the wheel. I'm gonna flip this open. We're gonna open up our sealant, freshly shaken. Now here's where Stan says that you wanna do about four ounces for a fat tire. I usually eyeball, go a little bit heavy. Luckily I had about six ounces left in this bottle. We're gonna delicately finish this off, trying not to spill anything. Gonna hold it there. What I like to do is rotate it a little bit, keeping the sealant all in. This will actually help us with lubricating the inside rim wall later as you're inflating. It's gonna take a little bit extra. You just kinda ease it on there, it will go. There we are, right like that. Before we go to the compressor to seat this, Again, just kind of let that sealant move itself around so it helps lubricate the rim so it'll seat up nice and easy. All right, we're at the compressor. So we're gonna grab the, the gun here, put this guy on the valve. Some people will pull the core at this point to allow a little faster airflow. We're gonna try it without that start. So get our valve on there. We're gonna go basically until we feel the tire start to seat on the rim. There's a couple pops there, that's pretty normal. What that is is the tubeless ready bead setting up on that bead shelf that we talked about earlier. Now what I'm looking at here is I'm following the rim and the uh, tire interface here. You can see that our tire is not fully seated because that chafer of the tire is not quite all the way to the edge of the rim. Just looking around for different spots here. I'm at about six PSI. I'm gonna go a little higher. And we're gonna probably seat that last little bit here. I'm probably gonna get one more little pop. Looks like it actually just went without the noise. So I'm gonna put my compressor down there. Basically spin this guy one more time, looking around that edge there, and we're seeing that the tire is fully seated and seated evenly around the entire wheel on both sides. 
That is good. So that tire seated up at about 20 PSI. You don't need to go much higher than that ever. Uh, after you get the tire seated, it's a good thing to basically leave some tire pressure out to get back down to regular riding pressures. So I'm gonna go back down to somewhere between five and 10 PSI. There's also a second way of doing the tire seating and putting the sealant in your tire. That's using these injector devices. Um, a lot of people do this, this is fine. The reason that I don't like doing it is I feel that when you put the tire sealant in before you seat the tire, it adds a really good lubrication element to allow your tire to slip up onto that bead at a much lower pressure. You know, I usually see tires go on at 15 to 20 PSI. Um, you don't need to go much higher than that. You can risk blowing the tire off the rim, which will permanently damage the tire and could almost permanently damage your hearing while doing so. So I strongly recommend just measuring your sealant first, putting it in the tire, being confident that you're gonna make that seal, go to the compressor, pump it up, you're good to go. For tips, tricks, and other information, visit 45north.com.